Hi, I'm Fran and this is Fran Nook in the Pages. Today I want to talk to you about a book that I've recently listened to and that is Payback's a Witch by Lana Harper. This is a contemporary paranormal romance queer book whose main character is Emmy Harlow. Emmy Harlow is a witch and she belongs to one of the four founding families of Thistle Grove, her hometown, where the story takes place. We have the Harlows, the Blackmores, the Avramovs and the Thorns. The Harlows are the weakest magic-wise, they're kind of the historians, the scribes of this magical town and that is one of the reasons why Emmy left her hometown with the intention of never really going back. She knew that she was never going to be a strong witch like the others and also she was left by her boyfriend 10 years prior the beginning of this book because she belonged to that family, because she possibly couldn't be enough for a black more. However, this book begins with Emmy going back to Thistle Grove to be the arbiter of a magical tournament where the science of each founding family, but not the Harlows, will compete to win the gauntlet. And so far the Blackmores have always won the gauntlet, so they've had the most power for centuries. When Emmy arrives, she finds out that both her best friend and another girl that she used to have a crush on have been how can I say, charmed and then left abandoned by Gareth Blackmore, who is Emmy's ex-boyfriend. So the three witches make a deal, they make a pact to try and ensure that the Blackmores won't win the gauntlet this year. In the meantime, as they try to gather clues as to figure out how to stop the Blackmores from winning again, in particular to stop Gareth Blackmore from winning, feelings start to blossom between Emmy and Natalia Avramov and the story goes from there. I have to say I had very high expectations for this book because when I initially found out about it, the blurb said that it was Sabrina meets the L word and with a premise like that, you have to live up to certain standards and certain expectations, if you know what I mean. And after reading it, I have to say the blurb was not way far off, but there were some things that kept me from absolutely head over heels loving this book. I did absolutely love the setting. Thistle Grove is such a nice, cozy, small town that is filled with magic, that has this perfect, crispy, autumnal atmosphere. It almost feels like this town just lives in the fall. The fall is a perennial state and the descriptions that the author gives us are just perfect and they will make you feel the full air on your face. And that touch of magic and the fact that this story takes place during Halloween, around the Halloween time, brings it all out even more. So this is the perfect time to read this book. I also really appreciated how it still has a very well-defined magic system. The tournament has specific rules. The families each have their own particular magic that they double in. So it seems very real. It feels very real. It's not just on a surface level, but there is a magic system and you can feel it, you can see it. It's there in the book. And I just loved that, how this magical tournament wasn't just in the background of the romance and whatever was happening with the characters lives but it was part of it it was present it was there either for the challenges or for the preparations for the challenges themselves but most of all I loved the love story between Emmy and Talia it was so sweet it is a teensy bit insta lovey perhaps not quite insta lovey but they develop feelings for each other pretty fast but let's be honest it is kind of a female female relationship cliche that is also true it is what happened between my girlfriend and me so i can't say that stuff like that doesn't happen because it's happened to me and i can believe it you can see that they start having these feelings for each other and they're true they're there and it's not too soon too fast. I loved how they were talking to each other, the things that they were talking about, the way that they were communicating. It was real, it was honest, it was open and I loved it. And there is, yes, a sex scene between the two of them, just so you know, but it's not too explicit. It's there, it happens, you read about it, but it doesn't go above and beyond. It's not erotica, it's just a sex scene that 
comes and goes. It was perfect, it was beautiful, it was realistic and I loved it. Don't worry too much about it, read it. It's all, you know, for knowledge of the reader, we could say. Then you might be asking, then why didn't you love this book like crazy? Why didn't you give it five stars? Because I gave it four stars. The reason is the way that the characters were speaking, the banter, the jokes, sometimes it felt like it was too much, like it was in your face, like the author was kind of implicitly complimenting herself for coming up with some jokes or rhymes. It was like she was giving a nod to herself in a not too oblivious way. It felt forced at times, it felt like the characters were pushing it a bit too much, like is that something that someone would really say? Like really? Like not in a book but really in real life? Would they really say that? I don't think so. So for that fact, it kind of made the whole listening experience, I mean not heavy because it was a very pleasant listening experience and I loved the narrator. I cannot for the life of me remember the name right now but I will put it on the screen because she was amazing. It kind of made it feel like it's a bit too much. Maybe it would have worked better on paper, but listening to it as if it was like a real conversation, like people really saying those things out loud, it made me roll my eyes quite a few times. That being said, I loved the characters, I loved the small town setting, I loved all the characters that were in the story, even as like secondary characters, I loved them all. And this is going to be a series, the second one is coming out I think in May next year. It is called From Bed to Cursed, I'm curious to see what's gonna happen because the characters in the new book are characters that have my attention, I want to know what's gonna happen between them and I just want to see all the other characters from the small town come back because as I've said, I just, I just love them all, okay? I will continue on with this series, it was nice, I really liked it, I, I still recommend it. Not perfect, but perfect for this time of the year and still a very nice read. So this is it for this video, I hope you enjoyed watching it, let me know in the comments if you have read this book, if you would like to, just let me know what you think, if you have any witchy books recommendations, let me know in the comments, and yeah, this is it. As always, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do, click the bell thingy to get notified whenever I upload a new video, you can like this video if you insist, you can share it, do whatever you feel like doing, and I will see you soon with another video. Until then, have a good one and warm hugs. Bye!